and the oldest daughter of Neil and Emma Fulton. And I was born in Mary, North Carolina on January 16, 1909. And uh, I want to show you some of my ancestors' pictures. This is my father's picture. Okay, tell us a little bit about your father, Grant. He was born in Patrick County, Virginia, and his, his father and mother was George Max Sawyer and Mary Sawyer. Well, I mean, you ought to tell him that Papa was like a farmer, he raised a back and uh, stuff he like was, that. He was a farmer, and he, he raised a bunch of back children. Of He's a father of 14 children. This is my mother, Emma Fulton Sawyer. Her father was George Fulton and her mother was Mary Fulton. And she was a housewife and a good mother. She helped my father with the farm and everything. How many children did she have? Four. What are their names? Six. Uh, my brother, my brother's oldest, George Sawyer. I'm second, Mary Sawyer, and then Minnie Sawyer, and then Alma Sawyer. Okay. This is my yes. grandfather and grandmother on my father's side. It's Mary Jane Sawyer and George Max Sawyer. They were slaves, and they were they were lived in Patrick County, Virginia. And after slavery time, they. My oldest son, Levi, bought them a 100-acre farm, and they had cherry trees, a cherry orchard up in Virginia. It's still there today. And we'll have one tree left. Whose parents were on? That's my daddy's uh, folks. Neil Sawyer? Neil, Neil Sawyer's father and mother. That's my mother, stepmother, and my father. That's Cora Taylor Sawyer and Neil Sawyer. They had ten children and my half sister brother. On my left is LG. Next to LG is Vera. Next to Vera is Alma. Next to Alma is Minnie. And next to Minnie is Dorothy Ring. And next to in front of Dorothy is George. So next to George is Mary Sawyer's. And the twins, Adrian Aaron and Adrian Sawyer's. This is my brother, Levi Lincoln Sawyer. And he was in the, he got killed in Korea, I think in 1952, I think it was. My name is Dorothy Sawyer. And this is my mother, Cur, uh, Cur Cur uh, Taylor Sawyer, and her mother, Elizabeth Tempe France Taylor. And Elizabeth Tempe France Taylor, my grandmother, was married to Abraham uh, Taylor. That's so, right. And that's, that's it. And now, now you get the little picture there, you get the uh, help them in. My, uh, my grandmother, Elizabeth Tempe Taylor, and her husband, Abraham Taylor, my grandfather, had a boarding house in Western. He worked in the mines, my grandfather did. And my grandmother, and they had a boarding house, and they had about ten boarders, men, stayed with them, you know. And my grandmother, too, took, them, took really culture from a, mm -hmm. with that poor old, poor old, she was a beautician, and that they had their age of blue hair. And um, my mother didn't go to any school, really, but she was a seamstress. She could really make her own pattern. She could cut her own pattern for newspaper. She'd go downtown, and she'd look at a dress, anything, and she could come home and make that dress, you know. And she did a lot of work like that, you know, canning and on the farm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were in, so you say, Stokesbury, Virginia? That's Stokesbury, Virginia. West Virginia. That's West where, Virginia? That's where my grandmother and grandfather lived. And there was some mines near there? Mine, it was a mining company, mining town. What Stokesbury was a mine town? Yeah, mine company town? town? Yeah, what did they mine? Coal. Coal, honey. Coal, coal. coal. everything down there was coal. Coal. Coal, coal. And my mother was, a, was one of 14 children. Mm. She was the second oldest. So she kind of took care of her younger brother. My grandmother and grandfather was in West Virginia. She stayed with them in North Carolina and took care of four of the younger brothers and sisters. Hmm. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Took care of Uncle Wayman, Uncle Sherman, Uncle Wayman, and Uncle Layman named Bertha. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And Lou Bird and Lou Bird, she t- and my grandmother. Bird, I didn't know. And my grandmother took the baby out of Maryland with her to West Virginia. Mm-hmm. And my mother took care of the rest of them, and they went to school. She sent them to school, but she didn't get into school and not really at formal school herself. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And this is the Sawyer's chart. There's 169 names on this chart. And my mother and father was Neil Sawyer and Emma Fulton Sawyer. And Neil Sawyer's father. Hi, this is Milton Lewis Haynes. I'm doing a quick run through of the Family Connection Family Tree, the TFC Family Tree on Ancestry.com. And I'm doing a quick run through of the family group for Neil Sawyer, who is my great grandfather. Mary Haynes is my grandmother. And we're going to start with Neil Sawyer and check out his uh, family group. So here's um, the life story for Neil Sawyer. And you can see where he was born and the different events on his timeline. I'm scrolling down. And we're going to go back up and look at the tab for facts. This is, these are the facts. Okay, very similar, but on the right side here, it has a family. And my great-grandfather was married twice, first to Emma Fulton, where he had these four children and also married to Cora Taylor. So this is where we have a connection to the Fultons and to the Taylors and the Sawyers. Now I'm going to go to the family group sheet. There are two family group sheets. This one shows for his marriage to Cora Taylor and all his children. And then we're going to switch to the family group sheet for Emma Taylor, I'm sorry, Emma Fulton, and his children by the first marriage. So I also have more information on Neil Sawyer that I'm gonna send out, and that's it for now. And I wanted to give you a quick rundown of my great-grandfather, Neil Sawyers. What you see here is a PDF file that we wrote up, which is a brief biography of Neil Sawyers. And all these PDF files I'm getting ready to show you are available from Ancestry.com. So we're using Ancestry.com is our database where we're keeping all of our family information. So for each uh, family member, like Neil Sawyer, there are a few charts that we make available offline. And um, if you're interested in charts like this for your family, just let us know. But we're in the process of updating our family trees in Ancestry.com. And I want to start off with Neil Sawyer, so you'll see what kind of information is available. So we have his biography, and this is a, what we call a pedigree chart or ancestry chart. So for each family member in our ancestry tree, which is called TFC Family Tree, we can go backwards in time to see their ancestors. So here's Neil Sawyer. And his parents were Mary Jane Albright and George Max Sawyer. And then 
for George Mack Sawyer, his parents were Jerry Sawyers and Lucy Stewart. And Jerry's parents were James Sawyers and Elizabeth uh, Folks. You'll notice that back in those days, um, the name kind of changed from Sawyers with a S-O-Y-E-R-S to Sawyers with a S and then to Sawyer with no S. In our database, we keep um, Neil Sawyer, my great-grandfather is Sawyers, but you'll find them in census records. Sometimes it's Sawyers with an O, Y-E-R-S, or Sawyers, or Sawyer with no S. And the um, more recent spelling is Sawyer with no S. We also have available family group sheets, which I showed in a video, but the family group sheet for each family member shows the parents, husband, wife, and then their children, as well as the husband's parents and the wife's parents. And this is all available online as well. And then you have, uh, here we have an example of a family group sheet for Neil Sawyer's second wife, uh, Cora Bill Elizabeth Taylor. He married uh, Cora Taylor. And then he had, you can see the children in this chart. So that's it for now. Again, uh, we have information available in our family tree, our roots. That's our ancestors, as well as we keep updating the tree to include new births, new marriages, and uh, new children. So make sure you talk to us at the Family Connection, and we'll make sure we get your information in our family tree. Thank you.